G'day guys, welcome back. It's resin day today and I'm using my new mold that I made for my trays. That was the first piece I did with my crushed velvet insert. Um, <clears throat> love it, worked out really, really pretty. Let me see if I can get you on autofocus. Oh, it's so hard to get you on autofocus. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. So anyway, there it is. So if you look at it that way, it's green. If you kind of look at it that way, it's purple. It's green, purple, green, purple. Yeah, so it, it changes colour. So not using that insert today, but I'm using the mould, the base mould. Now, I saw a, a post from a lovely lady on my Facebook group, Pouring Your Heart Out. Her name is Daniela Rosa. Hey, Daniela. And she did this gorgeous, gorgeous tray. <clears throat> and I said to her, oh, I'd love to try that. And she said, that would be fantastic sort of thing. So we're going to do that today. Um, she used a, a Druzy insert. Hers was a rectangle tray. You may remember seeing that on my Facebook group she used a rectangle one and then she used a round druzy insert put it in the middle um, and then she had black around the outside so I've got these two druzy inserts that I haven't actually used before I've made them but I haven't used them so there's this one here which is the smaller druzies like crystals so that would go in the middle like that um, oh, I thought I'd clean these well but obviously missed a little bit of fluff so there's that one that doesn't fill up the whole area and then there's this one this this I haven't again I haven't used this yet it's made with huge crystals so that would go there the only thing is I think the the main sort of dramatic look of Daniela's piece was she had a lot of black on the outside with this one there's only this much black so by the time the blue bleeds in it's only gonna have a tiny bit of black so I'm gonna leave that for another pour and I'm gonna do this one I have something in mind for that one so we'll, we'll do this one and I did clean the back and I cleaned the mold but there's bits that have bits of hair that have just flown in as I've been moving them around make sure we've got everything off I sprayed some alcohol into my mold and I just wiped it with a baby wipe dried it with a hair dryer and then used the tape to get any fluff off so hopefully that's nice and clean now and this is just a nice thin druzy insert and it has the the sort of jagged edges there I have another one that's got the round edges like this which is thicker but this one's just the jagged ones and I think that will look quite nice I'm gonna get my little measure I'm gonna try and make sure that it's as centered as possible uh, it's about seven and a half centimeters Seven and a half. Oh, nine. Okay, so we're going to go up, up a bit. There, how's that? Uh, eight, 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 almost eight. So just have a little play with it. Try and get it as centered as possible. Um, and then uh, you'll have a better finished product. Okay, and then when you're done, just press it down. Silicone sticks to silicone, but you'll be able to just peel this off. You may get a little bit of resin going underneath because of these little jagged edges. See, they kind of lift a little bit on the sides there. And I, I don't like cutting them off. I'd rather them just be there like that. But see, they do lift a little bit. But that's okay because when we peel this out, <clears throat> we can just snip that little overflow off. Right. So, um, I'm going to use tints and the black alcohol ink. Now, I can't remember which these are. I've got these three tints, and I can't remember which are which, so I'm going to have to just do a little test, and I'm going to use the black alcohol ink to go around the outside. I've got my resin made up. I've got 480 grams of resin. Oh, you know, I haven't filled up my... I haven't filled up my torches. I'm going to have to pause that at some stage and fill up, fill up my torches 
Right, let's get started. I've got three cups. I'm going to do, and then I'm going to put these silver handles on. Just um, They're just door handles, like for drawers. So I'll put them aside. I thought I might put some sparkle white over the top of the druzy as well. So let's get started. We'll put some resin in. Um, and I'm using clear cups because I want to see what color my, my color is going to be. Because in a dark, like a paper cup, you can't see properly what the colors are going to do. So I need a lot of black. So here's the black. And then I just want to do a little bit to begin with. Just I want to see what the colors are going to do. So that's my black. And I want to use that one and that one. So I'm just not sure which of the two blues. I'm pretty sure that one, see it looks like a greenish color. Or maybe I don't, maybe I just want to do two blues. Let's do two blues because in that other one, in, in, um, in this one, I thought I'd do some greens and like a really dark teal. So let's leave that one and we'll just do these two. We'll just do those two, yep. That'll be fine. Let's put some more resin in. Well, hope I didn't make up too much. Because I just need it to be covered. I need the druzy insert to be covered. I'm going to leave the rest of the resin in there just in case I need some more black or some more blue. Then I can just make up a little bit more. So, this is exciting. The first one is Ocean Resin Tint and it's by Colour Passion. Um... So I just want a little bit of colour. I want to let's see what two drops looks like. The resin I'm using is the Platinum Ultra Clear. See that's changed a lot, hasn't it? And it's only got two drops in it. I know it's it's a it's a deeper cup, so you know it does look darker because there's more resin there. But um, I guess I won't really know until I put it on as to, yeah, see that's quite blue. All right, let's leave that one. So that one was that one. Might do one more drop, we'll see. And then this one, this one was from Lorez. It's just a sample. I don't know what it's called. It's got a number one on it. Um, Susanna sent me a, a few samples. That one sits differently, doesn't it? doesn't spread as much but let's have a look what that's going to do that's two drops okay that's gone more of a more of a green actually which is which is okay I don't mind that because I was going to use that other one to have the sort of a greenish tone to it so that one looks more green that one looks more blue I'm going to put one more drop of the blue in that one Oop, just one okay so Three drops of that one, two drops of that one. So they're quite strong. So don't go putting too much in to begin with. If it was an alcohol ink, I think you'd need a lot more. And the alcohol inks, they don't tend to blend as well. That's why I'm just going to use these two. I think I'll put the, the green on sort of the outside going into the black and then use the blue for the centre. Put a bit more in there. It's going to be my my black so the black I'm using is the pinata alcohol ink I think I will put a little bit of that max sparkle just into my blue there just in the center I'll pull that one in last now this one I'm just going to kind of give it a squirt like that I don't know how many drops that is it's just a squirt because I want it to be quite opaque but I don't want to use uh, like a pigment powder that might sink or on the other hand it might float and then like pull across the top. You know how mic mica powders do that? They kind of come from the inside, uh, the outside in and they float and they sort of float over the top and cover things up. I, I don't want that. Okay, so it's a little bit hard to tell. But I can still see the stick through that. Even though I've got a lot of ink on the actual stick there, I can still see the resin through the top of the on the top of the stick there. So I'm going to add another squirt. And 
been using a lot of alcohol inks lately, so I've been buying the bigger, actually I shouldn't stir that over there, I've been buying the bigger bottles of the piñata and then I decant them into the little ones once my little ones are empty. So I don't throw the little ones out because they're quite expensive if you buy it that way with the little ones. Certainly more cost effective to use the bigger ones and refill your small ones because they've got the nozzle on them, you see. And the little nozzle just pops out. Okay, that's looking much more opaque. I think in a, in a thicker area it'll be fine. So that's, I think that'll be fine. I can still see the tip of the stick a little bit when I tilt it like that. But um, that's okay. I, I, I'd like the two to kind of blend a little bit. So that's fine with that one. That's two squirts. I see another little bit of black speck in there. I don't know where that came from. Okay, now the Max Sparkle, I'm going to put in just into the blue. Um, it's surprising how that one, it looks blue, but it turned green in there. I'm, I'm going to write that on my card so I know for next time. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of this in. Just that. A little goes a long way. Oops, it's flying all over my mould already. It's very, very, very light. So I have to be careful with it. It flies everywhere. Look, it's in my mould now. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's in my mould. It's on my hands. i got to be careful with it. I'm going to take the cup and I'm going to mix it away from the mould because I don't want any more flying in here. So just give me a minute while I go and do that. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to stir it over here. There's only a tiny bit in there, so I just want a little bit of a little bit of a glimmer, not a lot. Like I said, a little goes a long way. Look at that, it's just a pretty sparkle. Probably didn't even need that much. Now I'm going, to, I'm going to start with my black, I'm going to pour that in because I'm not sure exactly how much I need and I may need to use that leftover resin that I've got in my jug to make up more black. So I always like to leave a little bit behind. Actually move these out of the way for a minute so that I can get my arm around here. So I'm going to pour that in. It's a big mould, it takes a lot of resin. I actually ran out of silicon the other day. Normally my supplier, it takes like three or four days to come up, but it was two weeks and I, I was panicking because I didn't get it before Easter and then I was, I was tracking it with the courier company and in the end I said, um, look, you know, can I just go and pick it up from the depot? Because I wasn't going to get it until like after Easter. And they said, yeah, that's, that's fine. So they let me go and pick it up from the depot, which was nice. So I picked it up Thursday. Well, actually, my husband went and picked it up for me, which was very nice of him. Thursday afternoon before Good Friday. So now, today, after this, I need to make up um, moulds. All right, so that's, I think that's enough black. I'm going to pour this green one in next, just into the centre. And then let it run out and then I'm going to pour the blue over the top and let the two kind of blend together. I may even need to make up more blue because that'll be the one that I use last and that pushes everything else out towards the edges. I hope you haven't got too much. I hope you haven't got too much black in there. Okay, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put all the rest of that in there. It's not that much, actually, because that's all I've got. I'll just pour it in there. That's it, that's all gone. Now, do I need to add another drop of blue, I wonder? Do I, do I, do I? I don't know. It's going to 
going to look like. I don't think you're going to see it. I'm going to add another drop of blue. She might do two. Oops, I think I've got three. Because I've added more resin in now, so I can afford to go another drop. If by some chance I don't have enough resin to cover, I'll let this do its thing and I'll coat it with clear. I just don't want to add any more black to it, that's all. All right, here we go. Let's pour the blue one on top. And that'll just kind of push that green out. Get the sparkle. I hope doing the sparkle was a good choice. Well, it's actually covered, I think it's covered my Druzy insert. I hope the sparkle was a good choice. Might have put a little bit too much in, I don't know. I do like sparkle. Okay, so that's, that's it there. You can't really see the green, I guess, it's been taken over. Actually, I can see a little bit of the druzy just sitting in there still, under there. So I might have to do a top coat of clear. Now, um, I'm going to put you on pause because I need to fill up my little heat torches, my little torches, so I can pop bubbles. Oh, it looks blue through the screen. Uh, okay, let me just put you on pause and I'm going to fill up my torch or do you want to see it do you want to see how I do it all right let's, I'll show you I'll show you just in case you're interested I've got my can of got my can of butane move these out of the way I've got my little torch a bit over here on the side you can see the ring of bubbles that have come up so it's just got this inside and you can see it's empty a little bit of like liquid in the bottom so you need to hold it upside down and then that fits into that little thing there and I'll just hold it like that upside down it doesn't take very long because it's only a tiny little chamber that needs filling can you see the liquid in there now All right, let's see if it works Sometimes you have to release a little bit of gas. Oh, and I've got resin on me. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a bit of, there's a drop of resin there on my table. That's why I've got onto that. All right, let's have a look and see if it works. Yes. All right, let's pop bubbles. Look, there's more of the, the white showing. Maybe, I hope it's not floating. Let's pop bubbles. I like these little torches because they don't get too hot and they don't like heat an area that you don't want to heat. It only just heats the area that I want it to heat. I might make up some more resin real quick and pour it on the top. Some more blue. I don't know if I like the sparkle, you guys. What do you think? Do you like the sparkle? I'm going to let those bubbles sort of come to the surface and pop on their own. I'm going to mix up a little bit more resin um, and the blue and I'm going to pour it on top. The flame's still there, even though I've got it, I haven't got my finger on there, the flame's still there. Wait till it goes out before you put it away, hey? Alright, um, now I'm going to put you on pause, I'm going to mix up some more resin while it's still runny. Um, I'll be right back. Right, I made up a little bit more resin. Uh, you can see that there's more of the druzy showing. Uh, the resin took a little while to spread to the sides. So now that it's actually leveled itself, you can see that I definitely need more resin. I made up another 160 grams. And I'm just trying to decide if I want more black or whether I just want more blue. See, the black, as I said earlier, I think that gives the drama. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do half-half, add a little bit more black. See, I'm just not sure how much 
the black is going to encroach. I just don't know. Not sure what it's going to do. I think there's a little bit of black caught on that there. Let's push it back a little bit. A little bit of black just caught onto that druzy just there. Um, I don't know. I think it, the black is moving in a little bit more, so I think I'd better not add any more black, you know. There's a bubble there. You have to come back and sort of torch for a little while because the druzies, they do catch a lot of air in them. And uh, you, you'll probably, well, you will find that you won't be able to get all the bubbles out because they're stuck down on the surface of the druzy, so you can't actually get them all out. I can't anyway. All right. So I can see here, see the black is coming across and starting to touch the druzy there. So I'm not going to make any more black. I think I'm just going to, I'll just use this one actually that I've been mixing in. Actually I won't. I'm going to pull that into that because the sides, you can never get all your resin, you know, from the sides that, because even though you do scrape the sides, you probably find that you'll still get some resin that's not mixed properly so and you don't want to scrape the last little bit out because then you'll you might get like a oil slick type of a look on top if you go scraping the cup and you've got unmixed resin in there so let's not do that um now i've made a little note on there goes green <laughs> so let's not do that one oops one, two, three, four, five. Actually, let's go six. There we go. Because it's a big full cup of resin. I think that's what I did last time was do, do about six, I think. Sometimes a lot of your um, ink or what's that one? It's not a, uh, yeah, it's an ink. It's not an alcohol ink. It's just an ink. It sort of gets stuck to the stick. I wish I had a blue, a blue pigment paste. I've got this one, but it's it's more of a turquoise. See, it's appetite green. Appet well, it says appetite blue, but it's more of a green. I'm going to use that one with my big crystals, my big crystal insert to make like a really dark greeny blue. I'd like this to go more blue. I know it looks blue through the screen, but it's more it's more teal. I'm just. I don't know what I've got. I wonder if I can put a little bit of alcohol ink just in it, just to see if it'll go more blue. Um, where's my alcohol inks gone? I've got this new stand for them. A lovely new stand. Okay, sapphire blue. Let's just see if I can add a little bit more blueness to it, because it's just going more green. Whoops. I'll get that later. I'm going to have to look into getting a nice blue. See, even that looks teal to me. Experimenting here, seeing if I can get a blue. I think it's just the fact that they change colour when they hit resin. Like you can pour a little piece of, or drop a piece of um, alcohol ink or just regular inks onto a bit of paper and you go, oh, there, yeah, it looks a nice colour. And then as soon as you add it to resin, it's, my gosh, what's it done? It's changed colour. All right, I'm going to go with that because I don't want it to go any darker. And I know there's no glitter in this one. Maybe I should add just a touch, otherwise I'm going to have no glitter in the in the center, am I? Hmm. It's all going to be around the outside. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit in because it's not much, not much resin left in there. It's only half a cup. Just a little tiny sprinkle. And you've got to remember that where you can see the white through here, when you peel the um, the mold off that's going to be clear so you need to just be aware of that that you're going to be able to see through that I 
hopefully this is enough resin so my little handles that I've got they're not very deep handles like you can only just get your fingers through them so I'm I'm not going to put them in yet I'm going to wait and do a top coat uh, and then put the put the handles in that all right let's see what this is going to look like so hopefully that that blue may well it may stay separate so I have a little bit of a lighter area around it I, I don't know what it's going to do I've never done this before I've always used mica powders so I'm not exactly sure what these are going to do torching for bubbles again Feel free to spray the top with alcohol, that gets rid of the bubbles as well. Now the resin I'm using today is the Platinum Ultra Clear. It's one of the resins that does leave the um, amine bloom or amine blush, which is that um, oil slick kind of a look on the top. So I may, when I come to do the handles and the top coat, I may use one of my other resins. It's a thicker resin. It's a one-to-one -one instead of a two-to-one. Um, and then hopefully that won't do the amine blush because it spoils your look. It really does. It spoils your look. Um, if you're going to, if you have that oil slick on it, it's called an... A mean blush or a mine a m i n e just have a little search for it have a google search for it a lot of people say it's got to do with humidity but i use different resins in my studio at the, at the same time and some do the blush and some don't so and i have shown you before how the top of the resin bottles gets this white crystallized gunk on the top and it's those ones that do the amine blush so See, they're not a sort of very deep handle so if I had to put them in the resin now they'd cover up a lot of it so I'll leave it um, I'll cover it I'll give it a quick spray of alcohol just my isopropyl um, it'll get the bubbles off and then any bubbles that come up in the next few seconds or so before the alcohol uh, evaporates <laughs> uh, will we'll get popped as well Right, so I'll keep an eye on it. I'll come back and um, we'll put the handles in when we do the top coat. So that'll be in about four hours. Four seconds for you, but four hours for me. I'll go and make some molds. I'm well behind with making molds. As I said, I ran out of silicone, couldn't get my orders out. If you want any of my molds, the link is in the, my eBay store link is in the description down below behind my resin videos. Um, I probably will do um, this big one. A lot of people have been asking for the big one, the crushed velvet. I probably will do it and put it in my eBay store. It'll just take me a little while because I've got to fill my orders first and then I'll make some of those, okay? But yeah, if you want one, just be patient. I will get there. All right, well, that's looking good. I'm glad I put that extra blue on. So much more blue through the screen. I'm going to take these gloves off and I'm going to take you down for a little close-up. So you can have a little look and see what's going on. But yeah, it does look, to me, it looks very blue through the screen. So we've got the black and we've got that little bit of blue there. And then we've got some clear area before we get to the druzy so I'm not sure how much I can't go around that way because of the ring light I'm not sure how much that black's going to encroach I kind of feel as if maybe I need to put more black on it's not floating over the top like the black's not floating over the top like um, the mica powders do but like I said it's going to be this area here is going to be clear. You're going to be able to see through that. You better see through this as well, but you'll be able to see through that, um, you know, onto your table or whatever you've got underneath. But this will have the, the druzy effect. That will just be plain, and then that will just be black. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I, don't, I just didn't want any more black to be encroaching onto it. I think that's, that's really pretty.
be the way it is. So anyway, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll be back in four hours to do the top coat and put the handles in. See you soon. Hey guys, it's uh, been a few hours. Oh, probably five, four or five hours. I wanted to show you, uh, see if I can pick up the Amin Bloom. See there in the centre where that light is just catching it. You see what I mean? It does, it does that. This resin does that. It's a few resins. Well, I personally think it's more about the resin than the humidity. So I'm going to mix up some of a different resin, the Delcom, and uh, see if maybe we can prevent that. It'll be interesting to see, hey, because it's the same day, same humidity. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But look, we've got these gorgeous striations happening. I don't know if that's happened just because of the, the resin does that or whether it's because I added some alcohol ink. I'm not sure because I know it does that when I use mica powders. So anyway, I'm going to mix up some more resin and we'll do a top coat. See you in a bit. Right, so I'm back. Now, I have found these other little handles that I thought might look quite nice. I've used them before. I used them on this tray. It's the gold ones. I would have liked to have shiny silver ones, but I didn't have any. I've only got this sort of put that away it's kind of a gunmetal gray color and they're quite wobbly <laughs> I've actually stuck that one in and pushed it down as hard as I can trying to stick it into the set resin but it's not really wanting to stay that's the opposite one see instead of putting them both that way I'm going to turn one upside down so they're both got a, they've got a, like a curve on the outside but see it doesn't want to stand up it's, it's weighted really quite difficult so I guess well, that's okay but it, it just wobbles so I'm gonna see if I can kind of stick it into the the set resin I've also got some black I bought one of each a silver a black and a gold a while back on Amazon I'm gonna use this for my other tray that's coming up next week I'm gonna see if I can stick this one in as well but see it's the resin set so it's a bit tricky to push in. I'm just going to see if I can get it even. As even as possible anyway. Uh, see, I don't want it touching. can't be too close to the side. It's about... Th see, this, this end's closer than that end, obviously. So, how about there? I'll just, oh, goodness. Scratch it. See if I can push that in. Here we go, pushing down uh, into the set resin because I don't want them wobbling over when I leave the room. So I'm just going to see if I can push them in a bit and then I'll, oh, oh goodness, see what I mean? They don't, <laughs> doesn't really want to stay even though it's pushed into the of the resin. I'll put the next coat of resin on and then I think I'm going to have to get some tape and run tape across the top to stop them from falling over because they are uh, quite wobbly. But I think they'll look nice. There we go. I don't know. I want them to be straight. It's hard to tell if they're straight because it's it's like a tree branch, so it, it doesn't look straight. <sighs> All right, make sure we've got no dust on it. I've mixed up my Delcom, Delcom Crystal Clear. It's warming already. It's it's got a shorter life than the um, Platinum Ultra Clear. So let's go. But hopefully. We'll get a nice smooth finish because there's nothing worse than doing all of this all this trouble and expense and time um, and then you end up with that amine bloom on the top I'm not going to scrape any more of that 
I hope it's enough. I'm just going to push this to the edges. No, don't wobble over. It's wobbling over already. I'm just going to push it out to the edges. It will go on its own because resin is a natural, it levels, it's, it's a natural leveler. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a helping hand. I guess I could have stuck these handles in to the previous resin because they're quite high up, not like those little little ones. I think this will be better for this size tray. I want to do a clock soon too. What do you think? I don't, I've never done a resin clock. Although, I have got a surprise coming for you. I won't tell you just yet, but I have got a surprise coming for you. It's very exciting. <laughs> Push that out to the edges without pushing my handles over. I think that's it. I think I'm to the edges. I'm just going to wipe that on my bit of paper towel. My stick, that's my stir stick. I'll use that again. It's a good stick. Okay. I'll wipe my hands. I can see some bubbles. I'm actually going to take my, actually I better not. Knowing me, I'll stick my fingers in the, in the resin. Mm. There's a hole in that one. See how they're tipping over? They, they just, they seem to be top heavy on this one side. Push that down. Oh, see, see I've got... This is why I have my gloves on. I stuck my finger in it. I'm just going to have to keep checking on them until the resin sets. Once the top layer has set, you know, they, they're not going to move at all. But until then, I'm just going to have to baby them. Come and check on them every five minutes. All right, let's torch for these bubbles. Still not up to the top of the mould. This is quite a deep mould. And I made this mold specifically for when I want to do inserts because you know the insert does take up a little bit of space so oh, see it's falling over again no I had to put my torch down while it was still flaming <laughs> I'm gonna to torch and then I'm gonna put you're going over too Falling over in sympathy of your brother, aren't you? Now just stay while I finish torching and then I'll tape you. Just settle down. Because obviously I can't put the tape on yet because then I won't be able to torch. I'll be setting my tape on fire. Oh, it's going again. And they just want to fall over that way. <clears throat> Push you down even harder. See if that'll work. And you too. Stop falling over. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's as hard as I can push. It's probably not even making a dent into the old resin. It's still leaning. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to just keep pushing them up. Um, I only need to do it until I've stopped torching and then I can put my tape over. But I want to keep torching just for a little bit longer. Get the bubbles up. Make sure we get underneath the handles. Especially where they join the resin there on those little feet. They tend to get bubbles there. It's looking really pretty, isn't it? So pretty. All right, I'll leave it like that for a... A minute. Turn off. I still want to fall over, don't you? I still want to fall over. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I might come back. Actually, I will. I'll come back later today because I want to show you. Um, if we get any of the Amen Bloom. 
My humidity in the studio at the moment is 74 percent. It is 23 degrees Celsius. It's been raining. So as you saw that first coat the Platinum Ultra Clear gave me the Amine Bloom. So I'm going to come back oh, later on today. We'll give it another four hours or so and we'll come and have a look at the top and see if it's doing the same thing. Uh, and then we can make a judgment, hey? It's any way to know. All right, I'm going to take these gloves off. I'm going to stop the video. And, um, oh, he's falling over again. No, hang on, I've got to get my gloves off. Wait, I don't fall over yet. Golly gosh. Ah, push you down. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a nightmare. All right, I'll see you in a few hours. I'm back. Uh, real quick, I'll just show you what I've done here. I've put tape to the side of my board across the top and then down onto the other side of the board. I've made sure that the... Oh, we're not going to focus on that. I've made sure that my little handles are sitting nice and straight. I've looked across the top into the window there making sure there's no hair or dust or anything. I've been picking bits out. So if you look into a window like that, you can see if you've got anything floating on top. And now I'm gonna cover it and cross my fingers that the handles stay in place. All right, I'll see you in, a, well, probably five hours or so. Good morning, I'm back, it's the next day. It's another rainy old day. Never mind. Now, I wanted to show you. Let's have a look across here into the window. Do you see any amine blush across the top? Because I don't. I don't see anything. Oops, I doesn't know what to focus on. Too many glary things. But um, from what I can see... There's nothing there. And the best way to see it is across the across here, looking into the light. So nothing. So yay. Right, let me get you up on the tripod and we will just unmold this baby. <laughs> or is it demold? Now because I just did this top coat last night, um, it's still probably it's still well if I had to press my nail down into that it would dent so I'm going to be really careful with it today but um, it's Easter today happy Easter Easter Sunday here in Australia anyway <laughs> so um, yeah I'm just going to be really careful with it because I probably should have left it another day but I can't wait any longer so I'll just be really careful with it I'll just take that off that's the bottom, that's the main mould, like so, there we go. Is anyone interested in me making this big one? It's it's huge though, like it's it's 1.2 kilos of resin, uh, silicone, so I'm just going to, hang on, just going to make some of it clean to put it down. So it, it'll be expensive to ship, that's the problem, you know, overseas shipping, because up to one kilo, and then up to two kilos, so it'll be in the up to two kilo section. Let me just have a mouthful of coffee. <laughs> mm. My cappuccino. I've got one of those cute little Nespresso machines. All right, look at that. That's with the light around um, behind it. It kind of looks like petals, doesn't it? <clears throat> the way the um, the blue ink. Has run but when you look at it down like that you can't really tell but when you lift it up you can all right how am I gonna do this um, swap hands all right let's peel this off I don't want it touching the bottom yet let's see if I can actually I might need to I might need two hands to do this just got to get it started see if there's any little bits I don't know if you can see that little bits of um, resin that sort of gets stuck on top they just kind of break away as you're pulling the insert out 
let's go gently. You don't want to leave any of your insert behind. Sometimes a little bit will get left behind, but obviously we try not to leave any behind. Left a little bit behind there. You see, if I if I was doing this just on my own, I'd have a knife and I'd be kind of picking the top of that with the knife as I went around. Maybe I should do that. Anyway, that's the general idea. How about I do that and then I'll come back to you for the unmolding, okay? Hang on, because I don't want to ruin my mold. Okay, I've loosened it all the way. I had to get my little knife this one had to get that and just kind of lift this like top area here I had to just like break some of that off like like that you know because some of the um silicone was stuck underneath and then you can pull it out be really really careful guys this is sharp obviously it's it'll slip don't put your hand like that and cut in case you slip okay be really really careful if you're going to do it hold it here and cut away from you just common sense okay um the druzy molds are sharp be careful again of the inside <laughs> um <clears throat> you know the the molds made with crushed glass and rock and things like that so whatever your main Thing is to make the molds this the druzy is going to be exactly the same so if it's sharp this is going to be sharp so just again be just be careful i don't want to scare you but i don't want any accidents either so just the main thing is just make sure that you're not cutting towards yourself like that okay put your hand there cut away from yourself right now that that's out of the way let's peel this off i have loosened it all the way around look look at that woohoo and it's out I lost a little bit, I guess, little bits of, of um, because <clears throat> it's very delicate on the sides. You might lose a little bit, but um, if you're more careful than me, you probably won't lose much at all. <clears throat> Otherwise, you know, if you don't want to worry about those edges, you can go for something that's got a, a wider sort of flatter area like that that pulls out really easily and then the little bits don't go under the resin although with this you get that sort of graduated dip rather than just a ring but um, both ways work work well I guess that one <clears throat> is just a bit easier to take out right let's have a look at the other side shall we <gasps> look at it oh my gosh wow that's so pretty Wow, I didn't realise it was going to do like a, a flowery design there. But um, when you put it down like that, obviously you can't see. <clears throat> I wonder if, you know how I poured the black around the outside? I wonder if I pour a little bit of the clear, well not the clear, the blue just around the insert like that first so that the black and the... Um, blue can kind of meld together and then pour on top because when I poured on the top with because of the druzy edges the resin kind of ran out in that kind of a way <clears throat> I guess it depends what you like you know if you like that flowery look then go for it but maybe next time because I've got this um, uneven edge I'll pour a ring of black then I'll pour the ring of blue and then I don't think I'll get that sort of wavy look I wish you could see the turquoise of it. It's more turquoise than than blue. All right, I'm going to set it up outside if I can get some sunshine today. It's really rainy and overcast. And uh, we'll see what it looks like outside, hey? I love it. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Have a go. They're so much fun. What do you think of the handles? Do you like the handles? All right. Now, the other thing you need to do is um, trays can sometimes warp. It's a good idea to put it back into its mold or you need to weight it down otherwise it'll it'll warp right oh all these little tidbits for you today all right love you all see you real soon bye for now